And the question becomes, how many types of fascism are there? Now, now, you already know what it is, there, Diablo. That boy, Diablo, Diablo TV, like, subscribe, do things you're supposed to do. So I could continue bringing this political science, political theory on the cutting edge, as it were. <laughs> now then, bigger question, what is fascism, right? We can go into that, but uh, despite anybody's individual interpretation, fascism is a political system and theory devised by and implemented by Benito Mussolini, Italy. Now that is fascism, we know that. Then when you start getting into the, uh, this fascist movement, that's where it starts getting to be who gets to pick and choose and decide what group is fascist. The group themselves? You know, people, people, some people say, oh, well, you know, fascists is never going to tell you that's what they are. No, that's not true. Look at it as uh, Br the British fascism, right? The, the British League of Fascists, the Oswald Mosley. They have it in their name. The American, and they're not, you know, maybe they're not, they, they never had power. They were a fringe political party, or they, maybe they had some influence, but they never ruled the country. Uh, American fascism, uh, the Silver Shirts, the William uh, Dudley Pell, I believe his name, right? They, ha they, they were openly saying that's what they are. They're using the symbolism, they're using the name, they're calling themselves that. When it comes to Nazism, People call that German fascism, but I don't see that they ever called themselves fascists. Obviously, they're influenced, influenced by Italian fascism, Benito Mussolini. But then, historically, we know that Adolf Hitler went and visited, and he wasn't impressed, and then that he ended up influencing uh, Mussolini. That's an interesting thing. It starts bringing up the point about is fascism inherently racist or anti-Semitic? And if you want to be technical with it, no. It wasn't in the original Italian fascism. In fact, do your own research. Research is your best reward, right? That's what they say. <laughs> but uh, two-thirds of the Jews in Italy were in the fascist party prior to the influence, let's say, and the, and the evolution of Benito Mussolini, of Duce's political uh, ideology, theory, and system, right? But then if you say it was influenced by this, okay, so they're a movement. Okay, let's go further. Who's, who's regarded as a proper fascist, historically? Franco. But I don't see that he had for Spain. They, they call, those were like the three fascist nations, right? But then is it the whole Axis powers are fascist? And what about Japan? Hmm. So with the Francoism, it does have that racist element to what degree? You know, would, that's debatable, I suppose. Uh, the fact of the matter is, people call it fascist. So then, if you say that there's a Spanish fascism, right? Because then within that you have the Falangism, and you have his fascist party, which is more, or his his organization, his leaning is more like with the monarchy and so forth. But uh, here's the list that this chap came up with, and the name of the channel is. Uh, I don't. I haven't been following the channel. I came upon this video, and. Uh, sparked a thought which led to the you know me wanting to do a video about it i never seen some of these names and i never seen somebody say so many different types of fascism right uh, and what i'm current presently claiming to be a national bolshevist is they have it as a as a type of fascism so what i'm into now when i left the anti-fat uh, anti-fascist action afa anti anti-file ideology the communism i moved towards a national bolshevism so it's third position left left-wing nationalism Bomb. So, uh, the fact is, under this guy's designations, I'm a part of fascism, but he has all kind of groups in here that are fascist, according to him. Uh, and then he left out a lot of groups that are obvious, like some of the ones I named already. And then he did a follow-up video. So, I was, uh, cheers to the guy who's making these videos, because we're shaping political science. Political science, it's a misnomer. It's not really science. It's philosophy. You can use it as social science to see the data of how stuff affects people and voting trends or whatever, stuff like that. But ultimately, uh, it's philosophy or more like witchcraft, <laughs> politics, as it were. So, every type of fascism explained in 17 minutes. Professor Stein. 
and he some of these I don't I never heard of I might mispronounce them even so I, I, I was watching the video but I stopped watching it made me think of my own stuff and uh, I, I could go back and look into it but that's not the important part Nazism German fascism bomb Italian fascism bomb Hungarism he's calling it Hungarism I never heard anybody use that term I don't know enough about it to, to talk about how the evolution or lack you know, what how, how fascism played into Hungary specifically I can't say bomb he has national Bolshevism he doesn't have Nazbo, Nazi Bolshevists. He has national Bolshevists. Um, uh, and there are some national Bolshevists that could be called fascists, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah, it could be. Uh, it depends who it is. Me, I'm coming off the original German national Bolshevism, which was part of the greater Red Front that fought Nazis. And then these were socialists that over nationalism, just like Benito Mussolini, just like me. It's, it's that we're nationalists, so we're left-wing nationalists. People say, oh, what's that? Well, the most famous could be called uh, Gandhi and uh, Nelson Mandela. They're left-wing nationalists. Going on. Francoism. Talked about it earlier. Okay, some people say it's, it's Spanish fascist. Boom. Nationalismo. I don't know exactly which that one came from, where that one was. He has Kahanism. I never heard anybody call it Kahanism. That's a JDL, Jewish Defense League founder, Rabbi Meyer Kahan. Right, so it's... Uh, it was in response to anti-Semitism you know, fighting back on a more a terrorist type of level, like an IRA. You could say like a, a Jewish IRA, something like that. Again, Muslims, I think primarily in New York and stuff like that. I'm not so familiar with the movement, but I know it. It's Jewish power. That's what they're into. Mayor Rabbi Kahan. He, this chap has Kahanism as a form of fascism. But again, you know, is it really a... Can you compare... Italian fascism and na German National Socialism to a you know, so fringe movement somewhere in a country just because it has certain characteristics. You, you know what I mean? I don't know. That's a weird one. Then uh, he has esoteric fascism, but he missed the boat by not, it, maybe the kid doesn't know it, but Julius Evola. That's really the father of esoteric fascism from Italy and providing the esoteric side of the original Italian fascism, let's say. Did he influence Mussolini? Did Mussolini influence him? Ba, 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 ba. That's another question. I'm, wor I'm still working on that book right now. Uh, thanks to the great Stephen McKnight. Cheers. So, uh, esoteric fascism. Then you get into the SS and the, the Heinrich Himmler and stuff like that and the occult. Bomb. Okay? There's lots to explore in that realm. Because then it, 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 it borders with proper esotericism and... Uh, Madame Blavatsky and Theosophy and Thule Society. You can go real deep into that. So, uh, moving on. Austrian. I don't know much about the Austrian the, the leadership or who is exactly connected to the National Socialist Party in Austria. Um, revisionist maximalism. I didn't know what that was. And uh, it has a Jewish star. It's, it's something to do with, with some kind of Israeli group or something like that. I don't know. So, again, another Jewish fascist group. You know, can a, can a Jew be a fascist? In the original fascist party, there was Jews, but then obviously it became an anti-Semitic thing, and then the, that's when it comes to every Nazi is a fascist, but not every fascist is a Nazi. So then is racism and, and anti-Semitism integral to fascism, or is it merely a typical expression because it's a group of people that take power, and then those are the, the others, so to speak? That's a, a chicken, who came first, the chicken or the egg sort of uh, philosophical question, isn't it? Going on, Banderism, Stefan Bandera, so Ukrainian fascism. Now this one is real form of fascism, or form of Nazism. He was a Nazi. They were, they were Ukrainian Nazis. That's the West Nazi, that's the West Ukraine side. You know, they were, they killed Jews. They were Nazis. They're SS. SS Galician division and all this sort of thing. Continued on through the current. You know, Ukrainian groups and stuff like that. I've gone into that before, but uh, I prefer to talk about interwar period between World War II, World War One, and World War Two. That's what shaped current pop. That's what shaped politics. It's not over because all this that we're talking about, uh, fascism. As I said before, nobody else is saying this. Nobody else is accepting this. I realized it. And I came to this understanding when I when I became National Bolshevist, is that it all descends from. Vanguardism, Leninism, yeah. So then, 
if Nazism, National Socialism, is German fascism because it was had, it was influenced by original Italian fascism, but then original Italian fascism is inspired by vanguardism, Leninism, later Marxism, Leninism, but originally Leninism, which is different from Marxism. It builds upon it. That's where you get the vanguard party, the, the notion of vanguard party. So then, whether you call it Leninism, then Marxism, Leninism, aka Stalinism, so Soviet Union, whether you call it Italian fascism, whether you call it German National Socialism, some of these groups that he's mentioning, it's still vanguardism, it's not democracy. We don't believe in democracy in terms of the regular Western notion of democracy, which originated in Greece, ancient Greece, by uh, white men, slave owners with no women. <laughs> For anybody who says that, that the American democracy is somehow flawed because of those things, well, it started with democracy to begin with. So at least we can, hey, well, if you think about it that way, all these other philosophies are started by white men too. Every single one of these. So I would suggest that people of color and uh, feminists and any, anybody else who might have a problem with the so-called white man, uh, if they believe in that, in that non-scientific race theory, and they like to uh, group people up by race, then you should come up with a new theory, maybe somewhere from another country, indigenous culture or something. Because if you're talking about you're a socialist, if you're talking about you're a communist, Oh, you're following a philosophy created by a white European guy, <laughs> you know, European guy, or European white man, whatever you want to call him. So now moving on, we're going to go on to, <sighs> all right, he... okay, so the Banderism, Stefan Bandera, Ukrainian Nazism, Ukrainian fascism, bomb, that one is, is legit. Now, the Hutu power, African, so now he's got an African group as being fascist. You know, I, I don't know enough about Hutu. That's too, that's tribal stuff, man. But uh, the closest thing to African fascism that I say is Idi Amin. Because then Idi Amin, they're straight up racist. So some people say, oh, black people can't be, can't be racist because we're not in power. Well, uh, Idi Amin is African and expelled all the Indian people who were there working, making money. Immigrants have come there, he took all their money and stuff. You know, African black leader expels another ethnic group, takes all their stuff. In this case, people of color, Indians they were, if I'm not mistaken. So I think that you'd have to call him the, 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 the closest thing to it, right? Then you're gonna go on to Nazi Maoism. Now that, that's sure, sure obscure, you know what I mean? I never heard about that kind of thing, a synthesis between Nazism and Maoism. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there for now, part one. I'll come back with part two, and uh, we'll see what else this lad has to talk about.